that our women's cross country team is in the top 10% of all programs uh, in the country. And so uh, we take a lot of pride in that. <laughs> take a lot of pride in our, our student athletes being students first. And so uh, we're excited about that. Uh, to the meet this weekend at Bradley, it went really well. Uh, about as, as good a meet as we could have had. Uh, starting on the women's side, uh, we had three girls land themselves in the top 10 all time in school history. Uh, Scotty Schoen ran a, a huge personal best. Now she's sitting fourth all time. Allison Fick, she's now um, sixth all time, and Haley Thomas is seventh all time. And so anytime you get a chance and you have three runners put themselves in the top 10 uh, in the history of your program, that's, that's a pretty special day. And I was just as excited about the rest of the team as well. Everyone notched personal best times, and uh, we've improved significantly over the last few weeks, and really looking forward to uh, the conference meet here in a couple weeks. We put ourselves in a much better position uh, than we have been, and so we're excited uh, to do that. Uh, on the men's side, uh, Brett Egan again uh, led the team with a sixth place finish at the meet, and then just followed by a, a big uh, group of personal bests. And what was great about this, the group with uh, Zach Bukay, Terry Nielsen, um, Ryan Krogman, and Calvin Kibbe is that their spread between our second runner and our fifth runner was only 30 seconds. And so uh, when you get your team to start to finish that close to each other and they're running fast times, that's, that's a really good thing and we're excited uh, about that. We just got to get a little bit better. There's a lot more work to do. Uh, we were recognized by the, um, by the region uh, this week. Our team is now ranked 14th in the Midwest and so we're excited about that. But it is a number and so it doesn't mean a, a whole, whole lot. Uh, in the meantime, except for that, um, we're making a lot of good progress, and we got to just keep keep the ball rolling. So uh, excited for the Missouri Valley meet Illinois State in a couple weeks, and uh, go from there.